Want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill, and we are still on Ilium. So we are continuing to explore and look for terminals to try to find the Observer and help Iliara. And we've stumbled into a bar, and somebody's complaining. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh no, that crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Okay, no, nope. this is more galactic news. All right, what's going on in here? Bachelor party. I still don't okay. see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. All right. I don't see any terminals. You're uh, really here's holding one, out on me? I'm a man work. on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Uh-huh. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a well, second thought. Well, look who it uh -huh. is. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Hmm. Hit him or shoot his foot? I think we're gonna hit him. Conrad. Ha! Kick him in the quad! Sorry, my father was a Krogan. Man, I should have gotten better armor. That really hurts. Anyway, get angry if you want, but somebody had to do something. You were dead. I stepped up. Let's ask about Conrad's job. So, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. Mm, of course. Let's ask about his N7 armor. It does look cheap. Now how did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive. But my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. I bet she did. Let's ask about Conrad's training. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Let's ask about security detection. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. All right, so what were you doing here? Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? 
This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. Yeah, well, let me handle this. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. All right, so we need to find the weapons merchant. Got some Renegade and, unfortunately, Paragon. Let's talk to Jacob. The Asari are how advanced? And this is what they do with it? Money is still power. Same old, same old. We'd do the same if we could. Okay, well... So then he says, oh, it's okay. Our amino acids Doesn't look like there's different. anything so like else here. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date And in that room, that will start um, Miranda's loyalty mission, but we will come back for that. Not to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? I cannot believe this observer thing is... Or maybe I failed it. Who knows? Because I, I, I wasn't paying attention when they said who was who and who was what. Alright, we gotta go back and talk to this uh, weapons merchant. Now that's the, the one awkward thing about Ilium, that it just, the way these uh, missions and everything are designed have you running back and forth and back and forth. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the terminus systems. I think Everything this is the merchant. What about you? Can I help you with something? Conrad Werner spoke with you. I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. Uh-oh, people. Uh-oh. We are just going renegade. Shut up and listen. Pay attention, lady. Unlike Conrad, I actually know how to use a gun. Wait, 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 wait! This whole place is under video surveillance! You can't shoot me! I don't give a Vorch's ass about your security cameras. Conrad Burner is an idiot, but he doesn't deserve to be manipulated like that. You're gonna make it up to him. Okay, I'll go tell him the truth. No. You're gonna tell Conrad that he did a great job, and then you're gonna leave. That's all. Are we clear? Yes, we're clear. Look, I I'm even putting you in for a discount at the kiosk, okay? Oh, yeah. I'll do that. Talk Thank to Werner, and I'm gone. I swear. All right, return to Conrad. So, is there anything here that I can afford? Ooh, we got some renegade points. Nope, still got the amplifier plates. Yeah, I really want the assault rifle damage. Okay, let's go. Back and talk that to Conrad. Still sounds like an awful wow, thing to I just... All the dangers Hold are on. right there on the package. It's legally required. This just doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you, relax. There are only a certain number of terminals on this station. This one doesn't work. And this one doesn't work. Nobody is ever going to see and there's one over here. They should be prohibited from breeding. What was your Which also again? doesn't work. Oh. All right. So, Liara, you might not get my help. Sometimes you say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow. You're pulling that on me? I 
I really forgot about Shepard having limited sprinting in this game. Before we go back and talk to Conrad, let's just talk to Liara. Maybe I'm not doing this right. All right, we gave her some clues. We come back. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Talk to her. Is there anything else she has to add? I took down the target. Okay. If he was the observer, he had no data on him. The others have gone to ground. Damn it! I was so close. I'm sorry. I don't mean to seem ungrateful. It's frustrating to hunt someone for so long and see them escape again. Oh, so I did screw it up. So what happens now? What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Hmm. Wow. Um... Let's ask about the anger at Shadow Broker. That anger can't be just from what you've told me. What else happened between you and the Shadow Broker? Did Cerberus ever tell you how they recovered your body? I gave it to them. I gave you to them, Shepard. Well, because they said they Shepherd? could rebuild you. And to do that, I had to take it from the Shadow Broker, who was going to sell your corpse to the Collectors. Hmm. So why keep this a secret? Why didn't you tell me about this before now? Because I screwed it up, Shepard. I barely escaped with my own life. And when I gave you to Cerberus, I told myself I was doing it for you. For a chance to bring you back. But I knew Cerberus would use you for their own business. And I let it happen. Because I couldn't let you go. I'm sorry. Hm, I'm not. You did the right thing, Liara. My mission is important. I couldn't do it if you hadn't given me to Cerberus. Thank you. I... I was afraid you'd hate me. So that's why I must destroy the Shadow Broker. For what he did to my friend, and to you, and whatever he's doing with the Collectors. Liara's needs? Is there anything else you need from me? No. You've done enough. If I find anything useful, I'll let you know. For now, I need to do what I do. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, okay, goodbye. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Alright, so we screwed up the Observer. Because I happen to know from playing this game many, many years ago, that she is the Observer. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Hmm. All right, let's go. Nothing we can do. Messed it up. Wasn't paying attention to the clues. Wait a minute, who am I going to see? Conrad, Conrad. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course, I can help you with that. You know, I know some people will go back to an earlier save and fix their mistakes. I'm not gonna do it. What's done is done. Alright, Conrad. The weapons merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. I guess I really helped. Hmm, you did fine now. Stop. You did a good job, Conrad. Now that I'm back, though, how about if you go back to your old life? Can do. Thanks for not being too mad. It's really good to have you back. All right, we got 40 experience. Unfortunately, 5 Paragon. But we did save his life. Okay. Um... Does this bartender have anything else to say? Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, 
This is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Catch you anything? Hmm, matriarch? Really? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Oh, well, let's ask about her father. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Hmm. Let's ask about the parents in wars. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. Hmm. And then? What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Let's ask about her mother. Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Oh my God, that was embarrassing. I bet. <laughs> wow, the commando leathers. Let's talk about the long lifespan. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar, even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. A purebred daughter. Could this be Liara's father? Let's ask about working at a bar. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that a sorry wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. Hmm. What was coming? What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden year stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So mm. now, I serve drinks. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, I think we're done here. That's it for now. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Uh, Just it. looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. All right. Good tip. All right, folks. Well, we're going to end the video here. And next time, that figure behind us in the doorway in the other room is who we're going to talk to to initiate Miranda's loyalty mission. So until then, this is Hill. And I'm out.